welcome back to Morning Thailand with us, Fai and Gov, and we're going to keep you posted mm -hmm. on the development of the case which is deemed one of the biggest corruption cases in Thai history. Mm -hmm. And the punishment is big too mm -hmm. at this point. I, I right? was... I have to say I'm shocked. I thought Really? Yeah, I thought maybe they were, you know, like one get of away. those Yeah, like, you know, you get jail terms but you have a probation period and such mm -hmm. like that. But you know, it seems like, you know, they take it quite seriously. One of the reasons is that they failed to show up at the court for the second time. Yeah. I'm talking about the case of the purchase of fire trucks and the boats between mm -hmm. the BMA, the Bangkok Metropolitan right. Administration, from the Styler Daimler Company. Mm. This happened during the admi administration of Kun Samak Sun Tharawet as <gasps> the... The late um, yeah. former Prime Minister, of course, he passed away. And yesterday, mm -hmm. the Supreme Court's criminal division for political post holder had convicted former Interior Minister Kun Bracha Malinon and former City Fire Department Chief Kun the excuse, excuse me, the Lieutenant Major General mm -hmm. Atilak What is this? Tanchuki. There you go. Of <laughs> malfeasance in connection with the purchase of the fire trucks mm -hmm. and the boats. This case was brought to the court before the Supreme Court in the year 2011 mm -hmm. by the National Anti-Corruption Commission or the NACC, the Anti-Graft Agency, which accused the five individuals including Khun Po Kin Polokun, the former interior minister, Khun mm -hmm. Pracha Malinon, former deputy interior minister, Khun Watana Mung Su, former commerce minister, Khun mm -hmm. Atilak Tanchukit, as I said, the fire department chief, and Khun Apirak Kosa Yotin, the former Bangkok governor, and also the Steyer Demler, Puk Special, Farsoy, the company. Mm -hmm. The supplier of the fire trucks, which the also the supplier of the malfeasance allegations and also the price collusion over the purchase of 315 fire trucks and 30 fire boats, totaling Kun Gop 6.6 billion baht. Mm. That's According to the anti graft agency, the NACC, this procurement was overpriced, of course, and benefited the Austrian supplier. And Kun Pracha and also Police Major General Atilak failed to compare the prices with those of the same types of locally manufactured and distributed equipment. Mm -hmm. That time, the purchase contract was signed by late Bangkok Governor Kun Samak Suntarawet, while his successor Kun Apirak signed the letter of credit for the contract later on, committing the city hall to begin paying the supplier. And the four men, along with the Austrian supplier, were accused of corruptly arranging the deal, which was found by the anti graft agency to be highly overpriced. Kun Apirak was forced to step down due to this allegation as the city governor when the NACC decided on the indictment. However, yesterday Kun Bracha has been handed down 12-year jail term yeah. for this allegation, no probation. Mm -hmm. And Kun Atilak was given 10-year jail term. However, two of them did not show up at the court, only four other people mm -hmm. accused in this case was there. This is Kun Apirako Sayotin and yesterday he even thanked the court for granting him justice. However, Kun Apirak declined to discuss the political future after being cleared of this because um, regarding this incident, there's a lot of allegations and accusations of corruption right and that destroyed the image of politician from the democrat faction as well mm. and reports said that kun bracha had already fled overseas someone say he's in the country in europe where there's oh. no extradition treaty sending the culprit or suspect back to Thailand. You know, that's the thing. When you have money, it seems like you can pretty much get away with most things, mm -hmm. can't you? The thing was, um, I think he missed the first time because he said that he was in Macau or something like yep. that. And of course, um, at this point, it's safe to say that, you know, he's pro we're probably not going to see him at all. No, <laughs> he's I not going to so. come back because, you know, 12 years jail term, that's kind of harsh. And that's why I said I was surprised to learn that, obviously, um, not to learn that he will be punished <laughs> for this, but to learn that, you know, the sentence was quite 
severe, but it should be. Because yeah. obviously, you know, we ended up paying a lot more money than what of we course. actually <laughs> received. Now, um, moving on to another case, I reported about this before in terms of, you know, uh, and I believe that the first time um, I reported about this, we were together yeah. um, with the Gautam leaves. And we thought at the time that this is not going to happen, but it seems <laughs> like this might happen. And, you know, the more I hear, hear about it, the more it start to make sense a little. A little. <laughs> okay. Right. So um, this time, um, as I have mentioned, the Narcotic um, Bureau, um, N Narcotic Suppression Bureau, obviously, um, has came up with this particular idea, especially with the request of the Justice Minister who would like this particular case to, you know, fall through. Now, they say that the um, at this point, the NB NCB, um, uh, heading by police general Pung Sapat Pung Jaren, um, as well as various um, ministries that they're sent in their representatives, for example, the public health ministry, the um, interior ministry, the social and human development ministry, and such, and along with um, various um, key figures as well as experts, actually joined in this particular case, um, as you can see there, and actually talk about the possibility of. Um, pull Gratom leaves off the narcotic list mm -hmm. due to the fact that they say that in several cases, um, most people that used it are villagers and due to the fact that is the, the, the effect of it is, is a lot milder than other type of, you know, narcotics, pretty much. Um, the thing is, if you compare this to marijuana, this is a lot less yeah. in terms of effect. So they say that it could be one of those um, alternative use of substance abuse, I guess you could call it. Now they say that um, at this point they came up with five um, points all together in terms of trying to you know, justify this. And it based on the studies that came up by Jilalongkorn University as well as Songkha Nakarin University. They say that the first one that they hope to actually be, you know, as a solution is that to use Gatom leaves as the um, herbal mm -hmm. instead of using as narcotics. So pull it out of the um, narcotic list to make sure that it will be able to maintain its you know ability to be used, as well as make sure that if it taken out of this particular list, it still should be one of those um, control substance that mm -hmm. you know they have to be closely looked at and such not just you know using on a daily basis and third one was that with the regulations that they have these days as well as in terms of law they should not have to change the law but maybe adjust the regulation a little bit in order to accommodate this and for example perhaps you know in terms of um, the consumption of it you can chew it instead of using something else or extract it because that's probably create a lot more effect so if you chew it like <laughs> chewing gum it should be fine apparently i've never tried it but you know they say that it's oh not that God. bad um they say uh, the fourth one was that to um, make sure that those who extracted it and used it to mix with other types because they say that there has the four times 100 formula that mm -hmm. apparently you used it with other substance that I'm not going to tell you what to use it with, but it will create a lot more effects in terms of hallucination and such. So to make sure that those will actually be punished if used. And the fifth one was that if there's four, the four of these um, solutions did not work, then at least find something. So the fifth one, pretty much find alternative so that Gatom could be used. That's really funny. Mm -hmm. Right. But so we're not the first country to do so. Exactly. So, okay, just follow others' footsteps. Moving on to mm -hmm. some more a topic here, the powder rubber protest. Mm. It seems that we're not going to see a big gathering on September the 14th. That's good. Because yesterday the cabinet had already approved the National Rubber Policy mm. Committee's proposal to increase the subsidy for rubber farmers 
from 1,260 1, baht to 2,520 yeah, baht per rai, with a limit of 25 rai per farmer for a seven-month period starting from the 1st of September this year to the end of March next year. Mm -hmm. And yesterday, the government deputy spokesperson said that a fund of 21.2 billion baht has already been allocated for the subsidy. And after the cabinet's resolution, the coordinator of the farmer networks in 14 southern provinces and two central provinces of Prezuop, Kirikan and Pechaburi had already held a meeting. In the afternoon at the office of Tasala Tambon Administration Organization to discuss the Natural Rubber Policy Committee's resolution on the increased subsidy and a few hours later, Police General Pracha Promnok, also the Deputy Prime Minister, said that the Farmers Network and the the coordinator of 14 southern provinces and two central provinces had called him, contacted mm -hmm. him to say that the planned rally would not go ahead because they said that the farmers were already satisfied with the committee's decision. Kun Pracha said the rubber farmers who wish to get the subsidy can register from today onwards until mm -hmm. the end of September, only one month period. Mm -hmm. After that, the money would be transferred to the bank accounts of the farmers who have already registered. He added that 2,520 baht per rice subsidy would enable the rubber farmers to get 90 baht per kilogram of the, the farmer as they have demanded. Mm, right. Mm -hmm. So good news because, you know, all in all, I don't think mm -hmm. that we could afford having the prolonged protesting anymore because it affects a lot of sectors, obviously, yes, of in terms of economy. All right. Moving on to the last news of this particular break. This one we haven't talked much about. However, at this point, we're going to, you know, walk into the TV, the digital TV mm -hmm. or digital television and the NBTC, National Broadcasting uh, telecommunication Commission is the one that actually um, hold the bidding. At this point, they say that eight, um, I guess, companies has already, yes. you know, submit their willingness or they, you know, their bid. Exactly. And at this point, they say that um, there's um, a bid for the um, variety channel for uh, the HD, so high definition. There will be three of this altogether that's submitted already as uh, for the variety for the SD or standard um, HD no definition there we go standard yeah, definition def the standard uh, definition yeah. for this one um, w uh, four of them actually has been submitted and for the news channel as well as the children channel um, to each and they say that each of the bid actually have to um, start with 100, uh, 1 million baht uh, worth of the, the money that you have to submit it in, almost like a fee. Um, when you add the VAT into that, it came up to 1 million and 70,000 baht. Now they say that um, the, the companies that already submitted, of course, BEC Multimedia Company, which is um, the belongs to Channel 3 channel, um, the Channel 3, and they say that they submitted four for four of the, you know, these all together. Um, and Rung Thep, the Bangkok Television and Radio Company, as well as Channel 7, BBTV Settle Vision, um, as well as Rose Media and Entertainment, um, also submitted theirs, Touch TV, Post TV, GMM, HD as well as GMM SD. Mm -hmm. So these are all um, the, I guess, the bidders that on this particular case. However, that was the first day um, yesterday. So it will go on until the 12th. So we might see a lot more. However, the uh, rule is that on the 28th and 29th of October, they will actually be able to know whether or not, you know, who will receive this. And NBTC said that once you submit for the HD channels, mm -hmm. you can no longer submit for the news channel. So that's pretty much the rule. We're probably going to hear a little bit more on this, on who's going to win. But, you know, it seems like we're going to have a lot more channel to watch. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
So we keep you posted about the results of this special bidding. Mm -hmm. Now we're taking a short break and up next we've got an update of the Prime Minister's mission in Europe and also the development of the House and Senate Joint mm -hmm. Committee. So stay tuned.